forgot to turn my audio down. Guess I need the microphone. Yep, I'm a professional. Here we are. Here's the microphone. You guys should be able to hear me now. All right, I think we are live. How's everyone doing? No, Brandon, no nudity. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> uh, Scottish Scottish Aquatics says, what's up, Bob? Looking for some fish. What you got? I actually got new fish coming in this week. So that's kind of cool. Uh, Brian, hello. Joel, Heather, glass boxes. I already said Joel. How's everyone doing? Uh, scroll to the bottom here. Shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake. What's that from? It's from that terrible movie. It's Sam, the fish life. Nice thumbnail, Bob. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting weekend for sure. It was a lot of fun. Man, I'm really shiny. The lights are too bright. Uh, Catalyst Pets. How's it going? My LFS is closing soon, and I will have no outlet. Rick's Aquatics, uh, while that seems bad, you should be able to pick up some really good deals on stuff. Uh, when my LFS went bad a couple years ago, I got some really good deals, like 90% off. I got fish for a penny. It was sweet. Uh, Mile High Plecos, hello, Horseshoe Bettas. Rick's Aquatics, hello. Have you ever had a colony of white cloud mountain minnows? Any tips? Isaiah, I have a colony right now. I have long, thin white cloud minnows. They are awesome. Um, tips, don't don't uh, use a heater. They like cool water. And uh, what else? I don't know. They're really easy, man. They're super easy fish. Just throw food in there and they will reproduce. Luster on full blast. Yeah, man. What's going on here? crazy uh no just white yeah uh no more field trips not for a while uh bob what camera was used to record your background there i have no idea this is not my tank i didn't make this video so i don't know looks pretty good though hey bob just got here trying not to crash my truck well stop typing you can listen Stop typing. Be safe, Tampa Tom. Uh, should I wait for closing or should I go in as soon as possible? So Rick's Aquatics, uh, I went in every week. So when they started, it was like when they first announced it, they were like 30% off everything. And then like every week they would do another 10% until it got down to 90%. So I went there like Monday morning every week to get the best deal that week. And it's kind of like, you know, you're, you're kind of playing chicken with other people that want the same stuff like are they gonna buy it for 40 or are they gonna wait to try to get for 50 percent off so it really depends on how your store does it uh quinn mallory hope i said that right what's up uh, finally able to get to your live stream uh awesome good to see you your video this week makes me want to go jungle on the tanks <laughs> uh my lfs went out of business i got wicked deals on tanks yeah yeah it's uh it's kind of a blessing, but also, you know, it always sucks when one goes under. The Turtle Girl. Hello. Hey, Bob. What's with the thumbnail? My mom was frowning at it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was just, you know, kind of a joke thumbnail. Uh, Jimmy made it for me and, uh, like, just jokingly around made it. And I was like, I'll use it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the story of the thumbnail. Plus, people have been calling me that since this last weekend with all the live streams not that I did anything wrong but uh, Roger says I just pulled out hundreds of plastic K1 media out of the tank the bottle broke Ooh, that's awful uh, Rex Aquatic says thanks good Bob yep 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 yeah I, I tend to uh, well you know anyways moving on moving on so what's everyone want to talk about tonight I have uh, you know I put in week in review in case anyone had any questions about, you know, the last weekend when there was all kinds of all kinds of stuff going on last weekend with everyone. If anyone has any questions. Will Corey's do okay in a fully carpeted tank? Absolutely. I've never had an issue. Uh, you've seen some of my tanks are just completely covered in plants uh, where you can't even see the substrate and Corey's still do just fine. Uh, Nathan says, suggestions for fish that won't eat my baby shrimp in my 10-gallon cherry shrimp tank. 
something super small like ember tetras um what did you say cherry shrimp well, i don't know if you want red fish but maybe ember tetras uh, any tips on breeding a gardener at killifish uh scott no I'll, i don't breed killifish i don't ever plan on breeding killifish i've known lots of people that have tried to breed killifish and failed miserably uh i don't plan to ever try you guys know i'm not really big on breeding um so yeah there you go breeding black skirt tetras um you're gonna want to look up uh who is it there's some good videos on youtube about uh breeding egg scatterers Gosh, what's his name? He's super famous. He goes collecting all the time. What's his name? He has a video on breeding egg scatters. Charles, I know you know who I'm talking about. Uh, $5 super chat from Brian. When trimming the bush, should you use just the tip of the scissors? Um, it depends on the size of the bush. If it's small, then just use the tip. But if you got a big, big bush, you're probably going to need a weed whacker in there. I don't know. Uh, gosh, what's his name? Ted Judy. That's who I'm talking about. Ah, I got it right when Sam got it. Ted Judy, yes. Ted Judy has an excellent video on breeding egg scatterers. So I would look it up. For breeding more difficult plecos, do you think less caves is better? Um, I would... I stack my pleco caves. Um, I don't know that less would be better. I think, in my mind, more options would be better. Because uh, they, they really have to like their cave. LG3 Nation says, RFT just ended to switch over here. Yep. Ted Judy and Lucas. Yeah, Lucas, LR Brett's Aquatics. Um, yeah, I was lurking in RFT for sure. Who have you known the longest out of all the guys from this past weekend? Definitely Corey. Um, yeah, Corey by a long shot. Uh, Brandon says that he loves the water lettuce I saw in your recent video. Does it go by any other name? What do I ask for? Water lettuce is the only name I know. I don't I don't remember the scientific name, to be honest. But uh, if you go to like a local fish store or Aquabid, it should be water lettuce. Hey, Bob, I got a gold nugget. Pleco, finally, an L81. Um, gold nuggets are something I've never really got into because there's like 9,000 different gold nuggets. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, what's with the Hello Kitties? It's just a joke. Just a joke thumbnail. Uh, Sergeant Tank says, someone say egg scatters. Mmm, my favorite. Uh, what are all the types of fish that you have bred intentionally or unintentionally? Oh, I don't even know. Uh, I've had rainbows breed and fry survive. I've had multiple different apistos. Uh, obviously all kinds of African cichlids, uh, man, it's dozens of shrimp, not dozens of shrimp, but pretty much every color of neos, uh, orange, red, yellow, blue, pearl, I think. Uh, Charles picked up a pair of pelvic cachromis, taniatus, lacungi, lacungi. I've actually never heard of those. I'm going to have to Google it. Uh, let's see. Frank. I don't know if that's who Sergeant Tank is talking about. But that is the name of his flower horn. Uh, looks like they got like a longer schnoz on them than I'm used to. If this is actually the right one. Who knows? Uh, hello, Michael. Uh, that was my issue. I did some research and everything kept throwing pest snails, chemicals instead of medications. Oh, someone must be helping you out. That's good. Scottish Aquatic says, don't forget to hit the like and show your support, everyone. Yeah, I might do a sales pitch here. So I never really do a sales pitch, but I might do one here. Just because I think it would be cool to come back uh, Friday, to come back Monday and celebrate 20,000 subscribers with everyone. I only need 175 by Monday. So I'm going to ask you guys, if there's any videos of mine you enjoy, share them out there, get them out there, uh, because 
I would love to be able to come back here Monday and celebrate 20K with everyone and maybe get some stuff away. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's my sales pitch. If you like any of my videos, share them out. Let's, let's get to 20,000. Let's do it. Uh, Rob Hicks is here. Hello, hello, Candy. Maybe triple 10. I'm planning on uploading the updated fish. Okay. Don't forget to hit gay. Got that one. Is a 20 gallon hexagon tank good for female beta sorority? Uh, Jessica, I would say no because tall tanks generally aren't good for a lot of fish. Um, I mean, I'm sure it can be done. I'm sure someone might have done it, but it doesn't sound like a good idea to me. Tall tanks are like tall, skinny tanks are just aren't that good. Horseshoe Betta says, gotta go. Bye. Sorry. That's all right. Everyone has a life, right? Except for me. Uh, sub and share. Definitely hit the like for Bob. Heck, hit the thumbs down. Hit something. Yeah, just do something. <laughs> Hello, Oddball, Aquat Oddball Aquatics. I want some Stargrass. Um, I don't know why Stargrass is so hard to get a hold of. It's so easy to grow. At least for me. Um, got two pairs of a pistag. Oh, I read that as a pistogramma. Uh, Australia orange and some more T-bar cichlid babies. <laughs> yeah, you're probably going to have those for a while. Jenna Tucker, hello. Hi, Mike. Great time with you this weekend on the streams. Um, oh, there is Aquapros right there. There we go. Uh, I guess I should look to see what he said. Something... I don't know. Now I lost it. Miss you, Bobby. Oh, I miss you too, Mike. It was a lot of fun. We're going to be playing PUBG Saturday night, hopefully. So you should totally play it. Bob, when can I get over there to... Wait, wait. When can I get you over here to help me stock some tanks? I have room for fish. Just want to make it count with whatever I decide. I butchered that whole paragraph. Uh, I, hopefully we'll figure something out, man. I know I've been saying that for like a year. $2 super chat from Glenn. Uh, Northern Ireland clocking in at 1 a.m. Hi, Bob. Thank you, Glenn. I appreciate it. I, uh, 1 a.m., huh? Wow. I don't know that I'd be here if it was 1 a.m., so thank you. <laughs> Bob, do you have a Twitch? I do. It's the same as this name here. Uh, but I might switch. I might just do, do it on YouTube. Switch, switch over to YouTube. I don't know. A lot of people don't know what Twitch is. I don't really like Twitch after using it for the last month. So, yeah, Chris, we'll we'll be streaming it. So Saturday night, uh, I, I've always, I've been streaming on Saturday nights on Twitch. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing it on Twitch, but it'll be either Twitch or or YouTube, and it, it'll always be like the same name as this name here, or just type in my last name. Uh, hey, Bob, you inspired me to start a tank and econ tank. Are there any fry that you're willing to sell? Only if you're local, Adrian. Um, I don't ship fish, and I'm certainly not going to ship tank and econs because uh, they are tough to ship. They are not good shippers. So if you're local, sure. I can sell you a whole colony of Cyprochromis uh, tricolor jumbos if you want, if you're local. Charles Steamfought Aquatics says, <laughs> yeah, Charles says, Steamfought Aquatics, Reptiles, and Gaming. <laughs> Uh, it won't be on this channel. It'll be a different channel because I can't, this can't be a gaming channel. So I have to start a new channel. Uh, greetings from Northern Territory, Australia. Awesome. Mike at Aqua Pros. What's up, buddy? It was good to meet you last weekend. Yeah, we had the meet and greet. Met a lot of cool people. That was fun. Can you play music when playing games on either Twitch or YouTube? Uh... Well, I can because my channels aren't big enough to get monetized, so it doesn't even matter. Plus, um, I don't really care to monetize that because only, like, two people watch. So, yeah. So, normally, yes, like on Twitch, I listen to music. Uh, how am I doing today? I'm doing well. Doing well. Late to the party. Well, better late than never. Sergeant Tank with the $2 super chat pound bad Bob. Thank you, Sergeant Tank. Jeremy, everyone should check out his channel. Uh, do you play on PC or console? PC, of course. Consoles are terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, the new channel should be called Bad Bob NOP. I don't know what NOP means. <laughs> 
Adrian says, I'm in Portland. Going up north is no problem for your awesome school of sips. Well, just remember that sips are really expensive, especially as adults, so keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to rake anyone over the coals, but they are expensive fish. Uh, for a full-time Bob Steenfot, what are you doing to transition over? Maybe daily fish vlogs? I'd watch those. I I don't even when I go full-time, I probably won't do daily videos. Um, because that's an incredible workload, even when you don't have a full-time job. So remember, I did that last February, so I kind of know what goes into doing daily videos. Um, but we'll see. You'll probably see more of my life for sure. Seafood Aquatics, here's my list. I got off the past weekend with V-Stag and Charles Fish Tanks. What? Here's my list. Uh, okay. Uh, Bob, you're making a new channel. Maybe favorite rainbow fish. It would be hard to narrow it down, Jeremiah. But I really like Park and Sonai rainbow fish. I really like yellow rainbow fish. Obviously, that's my logo. Uh, of course, Bo's Um I don't know. They're all just really awesome, to be honest. Bob, I'm worried if you become any badder, you might end up in jail. <laughs> nope, nope. The bad influences have gone home. I'm slowly returning back to good Bob. Uh, Jeffro says, last March I did daily videos and it was brutal. Yeah, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Your mom, you mom is noob. <laughs> I subscribe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what type of guppies do you recommend starting a new tank? Austin, any type of guppy that you like. Um, I'm getting some awesome guppies this week. The Black Moscows should be here tomorrow, actually. So that'll be awesome. Uh, didn't you once make a second channel about... Do, Sam, I have like five channels. Um, but this is the only one with content on it. <laughs> so yes, there is a... There is a I think there is a Steenfot... I don't know. I have like five channels that I never use. Uh, okay, we got some super chats rolling in here. Uh, love. If I do a channel uh, for gaming, it'll just be like Steamfog Gaming. Something stupid and simple. Uh, love the channel, Bob. How are the puppy dogs? The puppy dogs are doing great. Um, Chance is getting big, although uh, I do feel bad because this weekend was so hectic and busy that I uh, ran out of food and didn't have time to make them more food. So I started making my own dog food. Uh, so I did have to feed them canned food for uh, two days. And I can already tell the difference. So, But we're back on homemade food. And it's absolutely amazing. I would highly recommend homemade food. And Chance was just here too. Chance, come here. Here he comes. I can hear the clickety clack. Come here. He's finally learning his name, which is kind of cool. Hi, here, come around here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Up. Oh. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh. You can kind of see him there, right? Oh. 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 Oh, thanks. Thanks. I always like it when you kiss me on the lips. Mmm. Ooh. All right, get down. Get down. Or just hang out. Well, come here. If you're going to hang out here, you might as well come up here. Oh, there. Okay. Okay, let's see what we can get going on here. We got another super chat. Uh, oh, man. Where did that go? Here we go. $20. Got to run. Sorry. Wife made dinner plans, but thanks for the stream. Have a good night, everyone. Peace out. Girl Scout. Thank you, Mile High Plecos, for the $20 super chat. Uh, Kevin's Fish and Reptile. What's going on, buddy? I haven't talked to you in a while, I feel like. Oh, stay away from kissing me on the mouth. That's gross. Uh, good evening, good evening, everyone. Hope everyone is good. Thank you, Kevin. I've never owned rainbow fish. I don't really like them, but everyone has an opinion. That is true. Everyone has an opinion. Casey Summer says, least favorite rainbow fish. Hmm. Least favorite rainbow fish. Oh, stand up. Stand up. Oh, yeah. Look how beefy this guy is. Oh, look at those muscles. Look at those muscles. Okay, get down. Okay, get down. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Right in the old twig and berries. Oh, man, that was brutal. Least favorite ra rainbow fish. Ouch, man. Um, 
I, normally, I would say the Australian rainbow fish, but I don't know. I'm really liking them, and I might actually try to get a big school of them. I don't know. There's no such thing as my least favorite rainbow fish. How about that? Uh, just got in time to hear Bob is going good again, so you're like a Sour Patch Kid. Um, who remembers those? Uh, Chris says, sorry, my son hit my phone. Here's a list of fish I got this past weekend. Gold Nugget. Uh... Dirf, Deer, Egypt, just kidding. Dwarf Egyptian mouth brooder, T bar cichlid, fry, one poultry crib, three Erian red rainbows. Uh, will you please do a video on the panda guppies? The panda guppies are gone, Tom, Tampa Tom. Sorry. Um, I think I might have like six fry left, uh, but those unfortunately did not make the cut. Uh, simply because I can easily get them again. So I did find them a new home. Uh, I want a Doberman, but my parents won't let me get a dog. That's unfortunate. I feel like you might travel too much. I don't know if you're still traveling all the time, but... Uh, Bob, are you on Steam? Yes, but I have no idea what my Steam name is. Um, of course, I just skipped past everyone. Bob, I'm not a real computer savvy, but I have had to edit my videos, and what a pain in the neck. It is absolutely a long process to edit videos. Uh, it is not easy to produce a quality video. Tip my hat to you, sir. Nice videos and much respect. Thank you very much. Uh, I got a new dog. His name is Punchy. <laughs> awesome. I like that name. Uh, let's see. Good looking dog. Awesome dog. Hey, Bob. What's your favorite Tetras and do you own any turtles? I don't own turtles, unfortunately. I do want Diamondback Terrapins someday. And my favorite Tetra is the HY511 Tetra, which is a very unusual name. Um, it's like a white fin, something like that. HY511 Tetra. Yep, Google knows what it is. And uh, that is absolutely my favorite Tetra. There's a really old video of them on my channel. So that is my favorite Tetra. Uh, Neocardinia or Cardina shrimp? I would recommend, well, it depends. If it's your first time shrimp with shrimp, I would get cherry shrimp, Neocardinia. Um, and then once you can get them to breed, then I would move on to more difficult shrimp. Oh my god, I didn't get the notification you were live. I guess it's time to throw my computer out. Yeah, it's YouTube. YouTube's terrible. Uh, your dogs are going to take over this channel. Will you do a video on the new guppies tomorrow? Uh, well, yeah, so I will be doing an unboxing video on them, but it's not going to come out for like a couple weeks because I've already got videos scheduled. I've never owned a Doberman, Sam, but I would definitely own one. Oh man, this chat is terrible keeps scrolling candy says hit the like button please yep thank you chances we hurry bob i posted my second video the other day it's on my channel my puffer is in it uh is it longer than 18 seconds that would be the important question <laughs> bob least favorite rainbow easy hybrids yes thank you charles charles always picking up my slack sadly can't stay today made a really cool video though uh anyone have tips for my new channel i don't have a computer to edit yet Um, I would say keep uploading like once a week consistently if you have the time. Same day. Upload on the same day every week. Adrian says, how much would the SIPs cost or should I email uh, Facebook for the price? Still interested? Yeah, just send me a message on... on uh, uh, trying to think what I'm most likely to respond to. Send me an email. I think my email is in the, des in the description. Do you think the buck 110 is worth it? Do you think the buck 110? I don't know what that is. Uh, Martin says, love your channel. Enjoy your live streams. Got to bounce. Have a good night. Thank you, Martin. Ooh, uh, Adrian, just know that like sips at like the wet spot start at $20 for fry. So that should give you maybe some kind of inclination on how much they are. Uh, yeah. Sam says, bye, I need to go to dinner. Flint's Fish Forum says, uh, what? How many angelfish, if you're buying new ones with established ones, how many angelfish? Um, well, there's a lot of factors that are going to go into that. What's your tank size? Uh, what kind of angelfish? Um, so, yeah, need more information. Uh, Nick says, any tips on, any tips with a peacock cichlid? Peacock cichlid. With Popeye, single eye, I treated with erythromycin, multiple water changes. Uh, I would probably 
If it was me, I would do a hospital tank with super clean water. Uh, Panda Aquatic says, should I replace my ex-wife with a puffer? Um, I mean, it sounds like you already got rid of the wife, so you might as well at least get a puffer. <laughs> Steamfought Aquatics email isn't in description, not that I can see. Well, it's just steamfoughtaquatics at gmail.com. There you go. Not in the description. I swear I put it in the, in the description like a hundred times and it doesn't save. Actually, you know what? I haven't actually checked this email in probably like two to three weeks. Maybe I'll open it up and see what's on it. Normally it's just full of spam and people don't want stuff for free. Uh, have you ever thought about a crocodile in a tank? They are very cool. I don't think I can afford a tank big enough to house a crocodile. Um, so, yeah. While I agree it would be very cool, I definitely do not have the space or the money for something like that. Alright, just waiting for my text message here. My verification code. Let's see, two... All right. I think every time someone asks angelfish questions, they're always going to be about domestics. Uh, yeah, Jay's Aquatics emailed me. He was late. Very late. Very, very late there, Jay. Uh, yep, and just a bunch of spam. I'm making a 200-gallon hillstream tank. I'm putting mostly a bunch of white clouds, hillstream loaches, and coolies. Uh, what else would you put in it? Um... I would probably do, I don't know how cold they can go, uh, to be honest, but let me look it up. I would do like Pandagara. Pandagara, they're sweet. Uh, no, I don't want a crocodile turtle girl. Uh, looks like down to low 70s, so it might be okay, depending on how cool you're going to keep your tank. I'd assume since you have hill stream loaches that it would be on the cooler side. I recently bought Neon Tetra Aquarius. Says I recently bought 15 Cardinal Tetras and 11 of them died. Their tails turned whitish, pale pink, and some of them lost entirely. What could it be? I have no idea. Um, but all I can tell you is I've been right there with you. I've never got Cardinal Tetras to live. Uh, it's like when people come to me and they're like, "Oh, I get Neon Tetras all the time, and they die all the time." I get Neon Tetras all the time, and they always live. But if I get a Cardinal Tetras, uh, they pretty much die in a couple weeks, so I stopped buying Cardinal Tetras. Uh, my jungle of plants in my beta tank died because of meds, but at least I have an excuse to buy more plants now. What kind of meds were you using? I've never had, had uh, meds kill plants. That's crazy. Too much salt, maybe, in the meds? I don't know. I just don't know. Ooh, deleted message. Uh, I'd like to own a dwarf caiman one day. They're not really dwarf, though. They could still take your, like, head off, I feel. Uh, what do you clean the outside of a glass tank with? Um, I forget what the brand of my glass cleaner is, but it is glass cleaner. I forget. I'm sorry. I, it's not something I really think about ever. <laughs> so, I don't remember what the brand is. What is the most exotic pet you would consider... Um, I don't know how exotic you would think it is, but I would love to have a skunk. I would love to have a serval. Um, I can't really think of anything else besides those two. I don't really think a skunk is exotic, but I think would, I'd really, I really want one someday. Uh, and definitely want a serval, so I'd probably go with serval. Uh, Charles says, even Cardinal Tetras from the co-op. I've never bought Cardinal Tetras there. I'm done. I'm absolutely over Cardinal Tetras. Never, ever will I ever have cardinal tetras uh, I like the stream do you wait I liked the stream did you all like the stream oh some I'm now people are asking about steam and sometimes I see steam sometimes I see stream uh, definitely like or dislike the stream definitely helps out use any car class cleaner car class cleaner there you go um, Taylor would know what, what my glass cleaner is, but I don't remember. I really want a Mata Mata. They are so cool. Yes, I would love a Mata Mata turtle, but they get huge. Um, oh, a serval. What about a Fenix Fox? Um, 
I would like a normal fox. I don't know that I'd want a phoenix fox, though. Just because I don't do well with, like, really small animals. And I'm pretty sure phoenix foxes stay pretty small, right? Nisi says, what is Steam? Game. Gaming. Online gaming. What is my spirit animal? Mmm... I, I have no idea. Full head of steam. Taylor says, uh, yes, the fish you were asking about, a peacock OB hybrid. Well, I was right. I told you it was an African cichlid. Just saying, I did say African cichlid. I think an exotic animal I would first like to get is a gold ring parrot. You know what's a pretty cool uh, bird? A, a pharaoh pheasant. I think that's what it's called, right? Pharaoh pheasant? Yeah, feral pheasant. Probably one of the coolest pheasants you're ever going to see. Um, I used to have them. And by me, I mean my dad. But you should Google feral pheasant. They are stupid awesome. Really cool birds. And one day, when I have my own place, I will raise those birds. What's the most exotic library? I guess, I don't know what, you're what you guys are defining as exotic. I would say the the rarest I've had is the tequila goodyid. Uh, yes, that's what it's called, perfect glass. So go to Amazon. The glass cleaner I use that we use is perfect glass cleaner. If you got a skunk, should we call you stinky bad Bob? <laughs> I'm starting a predator pond with arowana, peacock bass, clown knife, fish, and some freshwater stingrays. I hope you are in a warm, warm climate. Uh, Bob's spirit animal is beef brisket. End of debate. That's not an animal. Uh, I looked at how my mom loves pheasants. Yeah, super cool pheasant, man. I'm telling you, pharaoh pheasant. I want a kiwi bird. You want Joel? Isn't Joel a kiwi? Oh, man. I got told to hold a curl crested to. Oh yeah, the toucan bird. I want one of those. Toucan, amazing bird. It costs around four thousand. Uh, Bob showers too much to ever smell bad. I I do. I love water so much that I take showers a lot. Have you ever seen a blue arowana? No, I have not. Never, ever. Candy is linking my Patreon. Um, I did get some new Patreons this week, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Helps helps uh, one step closer to living the dream, right? Joel is a kiwi on the inside. I'm pretty sure Joel is a kiwi on the outside, too. Um, I'm glad I made it to the stream tonight. David Beckencourt's Aquariums, my friend, it is good to see you. Cyberchromos are hard to ship. Westbot does not guarantee live arrival for them. Exactly. That's why they are so expensive, and it's that way. Um, I'm pretty sure the Westbot doesn't guarantee any uh, Lake Tanganyikan fish. I think if you scroll all the way down, every single Lake Tanganyikan fish is on their list. Uh, what rainbow fish for a 40 gallon? Hmm. Well, I would probably say like a Praycox rainbow. Uh, those are pretty nice. Sucks that Asian arowana are illegal in the United States. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm indifferent because I would never own one anyways. Uh, if Bob was an animal, it would be a pit bull. He's loyal, funny, but packs a hell of a bite. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, dwarf neon rainbows, Jeremiah. Their scientific name is Praycox. Uh, I'd be a neon tetra. That is true. That is true. Do you think three-week-old guppy fry will survive all three meds at once? If not, what order would you use? Tampa Tom, I would only treat them if there was signs that they need to be treated. So if you think there's actually something wrong with them, I would just tr treat general cure and then go from there. Uh, is that one of your fish tanks in the background? Sorry if it's already answered. Just join stream. It is not. It is not. This was sent in by a viewer. Viewer submitted. Everyone always asks me, can we submit videos? But no one ever sends them in. The last time I got one was three months ago. Uh, I have one zebra danio in my rope fish tank that I want removed. Ideas heavily planted, 36 gallon. Do it at night. Do it at night with a flashlight when it's sleeping. Or do it when you feed the tank. 
Flint's Fish Forum says if I was an animal, I'd be a duck. Um, no, they're wonderful, wonderful birds with long beaks and useless wings. I have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> How many people do we have? Hey, we broke 150 on a Thursday. That's pretty, pretty good. It's only a matter of time before someone says, sends Bob a troll video. Uh, I haven't got troll videos. Thankfully, I know some of my YouTube counterparts have gotten a lot of um, interesting and risque videos, but so far I have managed to steer clear of all of that. Kiwi's Bob Crikey. <laughs> Isn't Kiwi a shoe polish? I thought it was a fruit. Isn't it a fruit? Uh... Bob, uh, how do I buff scratches on glass? I have no idea. I have no idea. I've n never even attempted. I don't think you can buff out a scratch on a glass. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Maybe. I don't I don't know. That's true about the useless wings. Help support New Zealand's shoe polish industry. Send him, someone send him Rick Astley. Well, the joke's on you because I like that song. Never gonna give you up. Yep. That's cool. You show off other tanks. Yes, and other YouTubers, too. Um, YouTubers can send in their videos with their watermark. And if it is good enough, um, then they can have their YouTube channel displayed on my live streams. So, yeah. A lot of the times they're not good enough in the, in, the, in the quality aspect of it. Not what the content is, but the quality. So, in order to do green screen, it obviously has to be high definition. You can't move around, things like that. Be cool, I'd be, wait, I'd be Joel, Corey, or Bob's dog, as they are all super spoiled. <sighs> I tell you what, it costs a fortune to, to home make, or to make my own dog food, but the change that I see in my dogs is, like, amazing, amazing. Uh, David, there's wax stuff you can use. That's Walmart. I'll get the same for you on Thursday. Okay, with small scuffs, but maybe not big deep scratches. Uh, holes in my plants. What do I do? You need to fertilize. It's most likely some sort of deficiency. Uh, it can be a few types of deficiencies, though. So a good overall um, all-in-one, like easy green uh, fertilizer would be good for you. Is there a good place to buy healthy German Blue Rams online? Terry's Tanks, I don't know if they're still there, but on Aquabid, there was a U.S. breeder out of, it was either California or Florida, I don't know, that would sell like six packs for like $50. And they had a lot of really good reviews. I don't know because I've never bought them, but that's the only thing that comes to my mind right now. Pineapples are gross, Flynn. I agree, pineapples are disgusting. Uh, I thought said plants not plants. Are you considering any aquaponics this year? Yep as soon as spring hits Sean I will be trying my hand at an aquaponics setup. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe grow like I Definitely want to grow cucumbers um, I did that like three years ago. I don't know why I stopped but it was awesome to grow my own food for my plecos uh, Like my channel Bob below everything is phone recorded I'm a poor Rican. Poor Rican. What do you use to make your dog food? Um, I have a whole list of different ingredients, but it's a lot of ground meat, turkey, beef, um, chicken. I would never do, I would never, I'm never going to show you how I make it or what I make it with or what the ingredients are because I don't want you to copy what I do and then somehow kill your dog so yeah but it's a lot of meat lot lots of different types of meat pineapples are delicious especially pineapple and ham pizza oh pineapple is disgusting i cannot stand pineapples how can you not like pineapple oh it's so gross pineapples on pizza you know pineapples are so disgusting that if they come on a pizza even if you pick them off, you can still taste the pineapple on them. It's so gross. Um, ooh, okay, listening while on work. 
Oh, listening while I work on a video. Fun time. Awesome. What was that cheap light you got on Amazon Aquanite? I got it off eBay, but it is Aquanite. Permission to ban the pineapple and pizza fans. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can't kill your dog on the rod. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, I'm not going to be responsible for getting someone else's dog sick. So, I'll never list my ingredients. I'll never show it in a video, etc., etc. Uh, Glass Boxes says, if I sent you a pineapple Hawaiian shirt, would you wear it on the stream? Yep. Yep, if you want to buy me clothes, I'd wear it on the stream. Have you ever used Green Leaf Aquarium D or Dry Ferts Panda Aquatics? I have a ton of that, so yes. Yep, that's really really good stuff. Bob, any tips? Well, I mean, obviously you could buy that stuff anywhere, but yes, I have bought it from Green Leaf uh, with great success. Any tips on growth rate on Cichlid Fry? I have one week old bath of Mabuna. Um, feed them twice a day, if not three times a day. Lots of water changes. Cichlids grow fast, unless they're Tanganyikan. Hi, Bob. What would happen if I put New Yorker... Wait, what? What would happen if you put Neon Tetra pH of 8.2? Uh, is they should be fine, as long as you keep it as stable. Remember, a stable pH is more important than the correct pH, in my opinion. Uh, best pineapples I ever have. Ugh, enough of the pineapple. It's disgusting. Uh, now bananas are gross. Um, interesting factoid is that bananas, I don't think we've had real bananas since the 70s. I was reading about this the other day, that there was some, like, some sort of virus or something that was killing all the bananas, so they had to genetically modify bananas, uh, to not die out, and so now, like, every single banana is genetically modified kind of interesting uh what about bob i'm late to the party why the bad bob that's what they were calling me this weekend um and it'll probably be uh i don't know probably won't be bad bob anymore actually i got one more video uh, i got one more a video with an interesting title coming out uh and then and then no more and then no more <laughs> poor poor flynn can't keep up with the titles but that's all right um, Bob, you must eat pineapples. Mm, nope. The funny thing is, is I don't mind pineapple juice when it's mixed with other juice, but I, I'll never eat just straight pineapple. That's gross. Never believed that New York pizza was better than any other until I tried it. Why can't they duplicate it here in Florida? I think it's the water. Something in the water that does that. Uh, actually, I actually read about that it's like, or no. Isn't it something in the water? Some. I don't know. Whatever. Something something with the water. I don't know. Um, what else? Oranges too, Bob. They cross them to prevent frostbite. Hmm, I did not know that. I might throw my phone away. Why is it is it made out of pineapple? I'd throw it away too. When you go full time, how many videos do you plan on releasing a week? Will you keep the same video format? Um, I'm sure it'll be ever evolving. Uh, when I go full time. It'll still be two videos a week, two live streams a week, um, at least for a while. And then I might up it to three videos. But, I don't, you know, it's ever-changing. YouTube's always changing on what they like. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. We're still a ways away from that, to be honest. Um, I'm hoping by July, but realistically, it'll probably be the end of the year. Um, have you tried avocado on pizza? I do... So I've only have I've only had avocado on accident. I've never actually had it. Um, yeah, I don't, I've never really had had avocado, avocado um, really ever. One time it came on food and I scraped it off, so there was like little residue on it. That's about the most avocado I've ever eaten, which is a shame because they're really good for you. Uh, oh, it won't stop ringing. <laughs> Um, I have no idea what that is, Taylor. What would you say are your distinguishing features that separates you from other fish tubers? Uh, I don't know. I just, I just try to be myself, Charles. And if people like it, they like it. If they don't, um, then they don't. I don't really care. Like, I'm not out to make people like me. I'm just out to do what I love to do. Uh, I got four cherry shrimp because that's all the local fish store had, but I plan on getting more, but two died from stress, stress, which sucks, but I'm almost 90% sure I have a male and female. 
how long till they breed. Um, they could never breed. If they're not happy, they're never going to breed. So uh, try to figure out maybe why the other two died. Maybe shock. Hopefully it's just shock, right? And the other two will uh, get comfortable and live and breed. But, I mean, there's lots of factors that could determine how long it's going to take for them to breed. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's that's a really hard question to answer. Uh, Bob, I'm looking... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Neon Tetra Aquara says, Bob, I'm looking to get a degree in IT security in college after high school. Do you know what is the best code to know or something like that? All of the code is the best code to know. <laughs> um... When I was in college, the code was Visual Basic, uh, so that that should date me a little bit. But I learned the code in Visual. Is it even? Am I even saying that right? Is it Visual Basic? I should probably check. I'm pretty sure it's been so long. I don't even remember what I learned to code with. <laughs> yep, Visual Basic. That's how long it's been. I hate coding. I hate programming. I hate coding. Uh, so I'm probably the worst to ask that. Uh, your personality is different than other YouTubers. You are also to the point and don't stretch out your vids with filler. Um, that's true. Sometimes Aqua Apprentice, uh, oh, Aqua Apprentice, uh, it was cool seeing you in the video creators live stream the other day. Um, I said this the other day, but uh, I always enjoy seeing other YouTube fish channels in like video creators live stream, which if you don't know who video creators is, that is a channel strictly to show you how to grow your YouTube channel. Uh, so there's always a couple like fish YouTubers in there and it's always cool to see. Anyways, after all that, your personality is different than other YouTubers to the point and you don't search out your videos. Yes, to the point I was trying to make is sometimes I feel bad because um, I don't stretch out my videos. I'm like, this is what I'm gonna do. And instead of filming it, I just put the camera down, do it, and then I show it. And then like, I'll work on something for like an hour that relates to like a minute worth of film and I'm like hmm I feel like that should have been way longer than one minute of film but I, I don't know <laughs> whatever <laughs> uh, anybody going to college for marine biology uh, there's actually a really good marine biology school uh, by me in Portland it depends what you want to work on what are we doing you're close to 20k yep Priscilla the goal is to have everyone share my videos and get the word out uh, just find one video that you like, share it somewhere, Twitter, Instagram, somewhere, so that we can hit 20,000 on Monday, and we can celebrate 20K together and maybe do some giveaways, I don't know, maybe get some sponsors, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, who am I going to meet this year at the Aquatic Experience? Probably everyone. Anybody going to, okay, I already got that one. Uh, there's my Patreon. Thank you, Candy. It depends what you want to work on. Have you dealt with hex in your fish before? What did you do? I have never uh, had that problem before. So I have sorry, I have no advice for you. I appreciate the fish related questions, um, but nope, I've never had to deal with that. My three guppies have ick. What should I do? I've been using ick guard. Anything else? Uh, for ick, I use ick x. Uh, that's kind of my go to. I want to remember AOL when you can make your own AOL website. Uh, we're learning HTML ninth grade here currently. It's pretty cool. I just can't stand programming. Uh, um, and it's not like it was difficult. It was just really boring for me. I just, you know, it's just something I didn't enjoy. Sometimes you just don't enjoy stuff. It was fun to hear him struggle with your name on video creators. Yeah, Aqua Apprentice. I always, uh, <laughs> I always super chat in every single time. Uh, he says my name different, and he's always like, hmm, <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, so, yeah, when I see people in video creators, I know that they're taking their channel seriously. And, uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Christian, I am tomorrow night. Uh, hopefully you're talking about streaming. When I compare your channel to others, I see a regular hobbyist who's not trying to promote certain products. For me, it's easier to connect with that than someone who spends thousands of dollars. Yeah, I mean, that's what, I mean, so people come on here and ask me questions about breeding and this, that, and the other, and I, and I was like, I'm just a hobbyist. And my videos are pretty much what I do in my fish room. Um, I don't have a lot of how-to videos. I don't have a lot of, like, profile videos. 
Um, although I might, I might do like species profile videos. I don't know though. I feel like, I feel like there's way better people already doing them, so I don't do them. But there are some fish. I do have a lot of fish that other people don't have that maybe I could do them, do them on. Uh, taking a channel seriously sounds so tiring and so much effort. It is. It is, and people don't realize how much work goes into it until they actually do it. Uh, I am 10 away from 400. I came a long way. Thanks to all the fish fam. You all are absolutely great. You're getting close there, buddy. You're you're uh, homing in on 1,000 in no time. <laughs> yeah, Bob, I'm streaming tomorrow night. I am back on deck. Awesome. David's on deck. Yeah, so completely random. But don't forget, we will be streaming Saturday night. I will be streaming with Jimmy from Aquarium Co-op Saturday night. Uh, so if you're not part of my Twitter or in my Facebook group, that's where I will be announcing where we are streaming. So if you have Twitter or Facebook, uh, that's how you would find out. My Twitter is just my name, I think, Bob Steenfot, and my Facebook is Steenfot Aquatics. It's one or the other. Editing is tedious and a time sink. Yep. Especially when you're someone like me, like I'm not a professional actor uh, or anything like that. So sometimes like even my intros take like 15 tanks because I stutter a lot. Yeah, it's real fun when that happens. Uh, I like seeing your fish. Thank you. So do I. Hey, Bob, how long could I keep a red devil in a 29 gallon grow out? Probably a couple months. Uh, I feel like they grow pretty dang fast. David Beckencourt's Aquarium. Didn't you actually coin the term fish fam? He sure did. We have David to thank for the fish fam. Ooh, I just got confirmation that my fish shipped. I will have new fish tomorrow. So I'll be posting that on Patreon for all my patrons here. You're gonna be, you'll be, you'll uh, know what fish I'm getting tomorrow. So that'll be cool. I'm excited. I'm getting fish that I've never had before. Um, in addition to the the black Moscow guppies are coming from Ray's Aquarius so if you head on over to her channel you can actually see the exact fish I'm getting uh, she's having to downsize temporarily moving some tanks around etc etc uh, so I get to benefit from that and she wanted to learn how to ship fish so yeah uh, doesn't surprise me David is fish fam hardcore yep yeah we got happy Bob he must have eaten dinner nope Nope. Um, I did have a really good lunch the last two days. Today I had, I don't, know, I don't even know why I'm bringing up food, but today I had a brisket burrito, which was amazing for lunch. And yesterday for lunch, I usually don't really eat dinner that often on my on days that I work, like today. Uh, so usually like my lunch is my big meal. Yesterday I had uh, steak, eggs, and bacon and hash browns and english muffin it was so good uh those are some sweet looking guppies yes i love black guppies david beckcourt says bob i got discus Whew. those are those are fish that i don't know that i'll ever own but uh they do look cool i'll give them that uh, like you said in a previous live stream, you basically vlog your fish room activities, which lets people like me live vicariously through you and your fish tanks. That's my favorite aspect of your channel. Well, thank you. I coined the phrase, I stay close, I stay close like butter, play, what? Play toast, but notorious, B-I-G, <laughs> Uh, meat, meat, potatoes, sounds like a meal to me. Yep. Candy, I missed whatever Bob announced about streaming. Uh, what, when, where, with who, Saturday night. Uh, at some point, I will be streaming with Sashimi Whiskey or Swiskey Vision or Jimmy from Aquarium Co-op or whatever his dang name is this week. Um, probably on, it'll be on a new channel. It'll either be on Twitch or on a new YouTube channel. I would, I'd feel bad ditching all the people that actually made Twitch accounts, but I just really don't like Twitch. Uh, but yes, like Candy says, it will be announced um, Saturday either. It'll definitely be announced through Twitter uh, and Facebook. Bracken, hello Bracken. I remember me and Fish Tropic were there when Fish Fam was coined. Yep, David. David is definitely the originator of the Fish Fam for sure. 
Uh, I'm not home. I'm on my internet. My internet keeps going in and out, so I'll catch you all later. My two favorite fellas in one stream. Woohoo! Uh, Chick fil A right now. Want some? Uh, I think Chick fil A is overrated. How to grow out cichlids and do they grow fast? Depends on what kind of cichlids. There are cichlids that grow insanely slow, and there are cichlids that grow insanely fast. Jeff, yeah. are you staying here tonight? Yeah, I'll be back later, though. All right. Uh, no. Please don't go full corporate, Bob. Promise me, Bob. Promise. Yes, you will never see channels. Or channels. You will never probably see, like, um, what am I trying to say? Commercials. Besides, like, obviously you get, you know, Google ads on here. Um, but I don't ever plan to sell out. Uh, it would be really hard to buy me out because I don't care enough about money to be bought out. So, uh, I play WoW, been in Twitch for ages. Um, I just don't like the Twitch. What? Uh, what time are you going to be done? Um, I don't know. I normally stop at six, but I probably go longer. Okay. Six right now. Why are you going to go get dinner? Well, uh, yeah, I'm taking Dum Dum some dinner. Mm, are you bringing back dinner? Or are you eating there? I'm going to eat there. But I'm, what do you... Call me later. Tell me when you're done. Well, what's on the way between there and here? I'm going to get... Popeyes? Yes. Mmm. But I'm going there to eat with... Them. Whatever, go see Dum Dum. I know, but I'm... Just call me later. Okay. Uh, Joel says, I'll pay you 7000 to sell out. Not enough. Uh, Jeff is awesome. That's what we all need to know. <laughs> uh, how to prevent algae in a newly set of planet tank. Um, there is no magical cure for algae in new tanks. Uh, you will mostly always, at least I have always had new tank syndrome, which is normally diatom algae, but you can get um, like green algae. Uh, there's all different kinds of algae you can get in new tank setups, and it takes, honestly, you can take two to three months before everything balances out. So, unfortunately, you just got to wait. Uh, what do I do for a day job? I am in the IT industry. Uh, Bob keeps corporate sponsors at bay with his bad Bob commentary. That's what I figure. Like, <laughs> I don't know, but because there's, listen, let's be honest here. There, there are some channels that have some corporate sponsors that say some pretty bad stuff. So, I don't think they're too concerned about it. Uh, Bob would concede to being bought out with a lifetime supply of rainbows. Even that wouldn't do it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it depends on what your definition of selling out is. Like, I love New Life Spectrum food, so if they were to send me a bunch of free food, I'd be like, well, I got a bunch of free New Life Spectrum food. Is that selling out? I don't know. Uh, but if they, like, said, here's $1,000, uh, make a commercial for your channel for us, I'd tell them to hit the bricks. I'd tell them to go flip rocks. Uh, what a good plant for a patio pond. Oh, man. I would, I would try lilies, like lily bulbs. That's what I would do. Uh, I love the look of algae, just not on my glass. Yep. I really, really love blackbeard algae. Mm, I can't get enough of that stuff. Uh, I'm sure I missed a lot of comments. Let's take a look. Oh, here we go. This is right where I left off. Tess Art Mania. You still play WoW? I tried, I tried, I bought the expansion, I played, I got to level 92, and I haven't played since. How to prevent algae, okay, I got that one. Hey, I didn't miss a lot of chat there. Hmm. Figured I would have. Please don't go full corporate. Hey. Jimmy's new gaming channel. Um, well, I'm definitely streaming on mine because I always, we might like switch back and forth. I don't know what the plan is. All I know is that we're both going to be in the same room, and we're both going to be gaming. It'll be streamed on some channel that's new. That's all I can tell you. Jimmy has the Rob Love Diesel Flip Aquatics thing going on. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> I don't think I don't think uh, they'll let him change change his name for a while though. So we should be we should be set. I'm sorry I forgot to say what kind. I'm sorry they're Ambunas. Josh, Ambunas grow fast. So obviously, the more you can feed them, the faster they're going to grow. Um, obviously you don't want to like, you know, cram food down their throat, but three times a day, uh, with lots of water changes, they'll grow really fast. And Bunas are really good with that. Uh, Bracken, I miss everyone. I've been so busy, but now I finally have a weekend off. Charlie says, I watched it today. Not my thing, but I like the information nonetheless. Uh-oh, what are we talking about? 
Hmm. I don't know. Sorry, I'm not sure. I'm not keeping up with chat. Uh, that's about 50 bucks American. Sorry, glass boxes. Yeah, I'm definitely missing chat. Bob, would you concede to being bought out? Oh, I already got that one. Bob's day job. Okay. We're getting closer to the bottom, I think. Oh, and then it just skips me all the way. Do you think a dither fish is wise with Crebenzas or just give it time before I see more activity? I would definitely do dither fish. Um, I had cribs that I kept with dwarf neon rainbows. Uh, I took the rainbows out, and then the cribs never came out again. So I would I would use dither fish. I stand by a company that I truly believe in. Uh, it wouldn't be a giant company like Tetra or Fluval, but an all-American one like Angels Plus. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't mind a ring of... Oh, enough with the pineapple already. It's disgusting. Uh, my Anubias... Congenses hasn't grown in a month, but it looks healthy and green. Do I need fertilizer for it? Uh, Tampa Tom Anubias is probably one of the plants that you honestly generally don't need fertilizers for. Uh, but if it hasn't grown for a while, it certainly wouldn't help to just put in a little fertilizer once a week. Steamfoot Aquatics sponsored by Popeye's Chicken. Yeah, I love Popeye's. It's so good. I uh, had a raiding guild, but not anymore. I haven't raided since vanilla. That's not true. I rated in Burning Cruise. That's not even close to being true. Uh, when the level cap was 85, that's the last time I rated. <sighs> hey, Bob, now that you've trimmed the bush, what are you cons what, are you considering eating pie? Nope. <laughs> Glass boxes, just take out the pickle, beetroot, bread, at McDonald's, eat the paper. I like beetroots. I, I like beets. I like beetroot. Uh, Tazawa Tanks, it was great to see you last weekend, my friend. Dang, I missed the stream. Just got home. Yep. <laughs> uh, we're we're going to go a little longer. Heather Varuna Aquatics. I think I saw Heather in uh, Video Creators live stream too, but I might be thinking of someone else. Uh, remember to share the stream or his vids. 20k subs by Monday. Yes, how many are we at? Let's get a real-time look at how many subscribers I need. How about we do a marathon? Oh, I just lost two subscribers. Whew. We're going backwards, folks. We're going backwards. Um, I will listen on the playback. How many subs are you away from 20k? Well, I was 170. Now I'm 172. <laughs> um, apparently, I pissed off the pineapple lovers, and they unsubscribed from me. But that's all right. We'll get them back, uh, hopefully. <laughs> uh, Heather says, "Yep, I was there. I thought so. I always, I always look for like the word aquarium or the word aquatics. I try to pick that out. So yeah, there was Heather, uh, there was Aqua Apprentice, and then the fish nerd was there." So that's kind of cool. Saw three people there. Two pineapple lovers. Oh, yep. Ooh, 829. We got a pineapple lover back. That should pop up on the screen here, I would think. Although the screen pop up, when it says subscribers that pop up on the stream, it's usually like fresh subscribers, not people that unsub and sub. It's pretty good about not showing those guys. Bob, to get more subs, all you have to do is stop putting out content. I don't get it. Are you saying that my content is so bad the only way to get new subs is to stop? <laughs> uh, nope, 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 nope. Nope, not doing that. I hate beetroot, but I love beet greens. I love beetroot juice. Mm, so good. Melissa from Albany Aquatic says, by the time I get doing, by the time I, wait, by the time I get doing maintenance on my tanks, I miss the stream every time. I'm going to have to put a put laptop in the fish room that's what i do i butchered that whole paragraph but we got through it eventually who always puts a thumb down the, th the thumbs down there's two people that do it like as soon as i schedule it i could do i could schedule a week in advance or a day in advance or an hour in advance and they're there they're they're quick they're quick on it kk i joined the pineapple team <laughs> all right we're back up to 8.30 and we just dropped to 8.29. I feel like someone's playing a joke. Someone's trolling me. Uh, can I keep two male German blue rams together? Uh, yes, you can. That is possible. Uh, check out my channel. It's just fishing videos, but I'm going to get some fish tanks. Uh, yes, if you have the room, if your tank is big enough, you can certainly house two males together. Uh, I get all my beet juice from Shroot Farms. I wish I was close enough. Uh, I wish I was in Scranton. I'd get myself some Shroot Farms beet juice. Uh, beats by Shroot. Well, you know, it's not me because I'm way too slow. Pogey Ken says, hey, uh, hey, is Bob and Fish Fam. 
Um, beet juice, gross. I like beets. I have pickled beets in the fridge right now. Uh, Dave in Beckworth Aquarium says, I'm working hard on getting to 500. I'm getting close. Um, but what was the funniest off-camera moment from the Mass YouTuber weekend? There was so much, so much off-camera shenanigans that's not appropriate for YouTube. Uh, at least on my channel. Even, even as Bad Bob, I could not say the shenanigans that went down. Um... I would say that it is a great, great group of guys, and I would challenge anyone to hang out with any of them and not like them. They're all super cool dudes. Are they the same who two who thumbs down most of the Fish Fam channels? Probably. I love pickled beets and regular beets. Beets, beets, beets. Uh, beets are a good source of iron. That is true. Uh, they're also really good for um, like muscle repair, like after a workout, if you eat beets. Oh, my dad got a green terror on Tuesday. He is beautiful and quite large. Yeah. I saw a green terror at the aquatic experience, David. It was amazing. Really, really good looking fish. I have a breeding pair now of golden leopards. Golden leopards. They laid twice. First batch eight eggs. Just didn't hatch. Work in progress. Oh, you're talking to David. Okay, good. Because I have no idea what you're talking about. Shenanigans. Yep. Yeah, there was, it was just a lot of fun. Um, it's definitely something that should be videoed and put out somewhere. I just don't know where, when everyone gets together like that. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Uh, I just started re-watching Battlestar Galactica, as a matter of fact. I'm on the 33-minute episode, I believe, where they have to hyper-jump every 33 minutes. I have a 180 gallon aquarium with nothing in it. If you had it, what would you put in it? I would put in rainbow fish and Corydoras and planted. Uh, Christian, sorry, I just saw that. I do actually use water in my plants. Just watered them, actually, but I had a few extra gallons. Uh, what do you think about kale? Um, I like kale more than I like lettuce, but it's still very bland. But I find lettuce to be completely pointless. I at least feel like I'm getting something out of kale. Like there is, uh, kale is considered a superfood, so I feel like I'm getting something out of it. Where lettuce, lettuce just, I feel like I'm just eating a plant that has no value at all. <sighs> Anyways, actually, I have kale chips. Yep. You would think that uh, for all the healthy stuff I eat. That I wouldn't be this fat, but I eat a lot of unhealthy stuff too. So, you know, whatever. I do what I want. Uh, did you hear... Wait. Did you hear I'm kale in it? What? Uh, Roger says, going to bed, Bob. My wife is yelling at me. Well, have a good night, Roger. Definitely got to please the wife. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Always appreciate having people here. Back to work. Good night, all. Thank you, Grant. Why would you eat food your food eats? Uh, kale is a garnish and serves no purpose. Uh, kale is a superfood and has is loaded with vitamins, my friend. I eat kale most days. Uh, it tastes so bad. Yeah, it's very bland. It's very bland. Uh, iceberg lettuce has practically no nutrition. Yeah, it's worthless. But apparently it's good for you. Spinach too. Yep. Uh, spinach is something that I feed my dogs. Uh, you're not fat, just big boned. Yep. Uh, homeostasis at its finest. Uh, kale salad with Tahiti hummus like dressing. Hmm, interesting. Now, we could talk about kale and beets, but the nice thing about that food is it doesn't make me hungry. Like, if we're talking about steak and potatoes, that makes me hungry. Uh, what would be a good setup for an Oscar? At least a 125 gallon tank. This is just my opinion. Uh, I know people keep them in 75s and 55s, but I would want them in a six foot tank at least because they get big. Here's a good kale recipe. Mince some garlic, cook with olive oil, uh, and then dump it directly into the garbage cans. <laughs> oh, that made me laugh. Uh, what else do we got going on here? Photosynthesis. <laughs> um, you know what else is a superfood? Avocados. Yes, it is. I know it's a superfood, but I don't know. It just doesn't appeal to me. I think it's the color. Like, I, it's that puke green color just does not appeal to me. 
Uh, do you like the dwarf rainbows? Absolutely. Would you put them in a 30? I would put them in a 30 long, but not a 30. Well, I mean... You could keep them in like a 29. I feel like a 20 tall is kind of too small. Uh, I kept them in a 20 long, so... Tampa Tom says, you're not fat, you just have a sweet hockey body. Well, I did play hockey for a long, long time. So maybe maybe that's the reason why. Uh, beef brisket, bacon, pork chop, lamb chops. I don't like lamb chops. Medium rare burger with bacon, burnt ends. Mm. You said before you make your own dog food. What do you use in it? Uh, lots of different stuff. Uh, I won't say the ingredients. Like I said, I don't want to be liable for someone trying to make their own dog food off of the ingredients I said. Um, but you can look it up online. There's lots of different, uh, like raw food diets and, uh, recipes for dogs. Uh, Doug said he's unsubbing because kale is nasty. I, I wouldn't go so far to say it's nasty. It's definitely not good, but it's not bad either. It's like right in that middle of where it doesn't taste like anything. Uh, a nice side of cheesy fries. Oh, cheesy fries. Nope. Toasted bread. Yep. Barbecue beans. Eh, you're losing me now, Charles. I gave up my health care. I gave up my health care. Go afford avocado toast. To afford avocado toast. <laughs> uh, pineapple is superfood. Two, it could be super villain food. Tomatoes and nightshade in the same family. Yeah, nightshade. Um, nightshade's not good for me. I shouldn't be eating potatoes, but... They're just so good. But anything in the nightshade family is really bad for me. A Big Mac with kale is healthy, right? It's healthier. I got you there. <laughs> uh, bacon plus kale. I bet that's not terrible. Bacon makes anything better. At a gyro for supper. Uh, kaling it. I'm kaling it. <laughs> uh, what else? That's right. I forgot Frank. Why do people keep talking about Frank? I don't get it. I'm, I'm missing the joke. Uh, now I'm inspired to go to this burger joint near my campus. Thank you. Uh, dog, dog, I'm kicking you. Can't lay by my feet. Uh, well, no to work at the moment, so back lurking. All right. Hmm. Well, I hope you guys didn't just hear that. That was a nasty burp. Isn't spirulina a superfood? I thought I read we should be eating it. Um, I don't know. The other superfood I have is acai berries. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have acai berries. Those are those are pretty good. Uh, avocados growing right outside my door and oranges. Urgh, urgh. Give me those paws. Give me those paws. Give me those paws. Uh, my red shoulder but the crap out of me. What? My red shoulder beat the crap out of me? He was mad. I put my hand in the tank. And he didn't feed and didn't feed first. Okay. I got I'm catching what you're throwing down there, David. Took me a minute. Yeah, that's a lot of tank for one fish. I like Oscars. They have good personalities. Uh they have personalities. I'll I'll give them that much. Uh Hey. Stop biting my pants. Take that. Uh so we're always talking about food on Thursday, yeah. You know, the, the Monday stream is like the fish stream. Uh, the Thursday stream is I'll talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. And you are the people that always steer it towards food. Not me. Just saying. I say ye. I say ye. A-C-I. I say ye. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, my superfood is Taco Bell. That is so gross. Uh, could you do a tour of Corey's store? Uh, I could, but he just did one like a week or two ago. And I guarantee you that's going to be better than anything I put out. So I don't know if you haven't seen that video. I check it out. Asai. 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 If anyone is near Emporia, Kansas City, go to Doobie's Best Sloppy Messy Sandwiches, Plates, and Rice Bowls. That was a mouthful. I wish I could get it shipped here. I gotta tell you, if something is named Doobies, <laughs> it's probably pretty good. Uh, can we talk about n the new tank for profit? Uh, what new tank for profit? Cook up a real storm? 
Eric Carnes, that's how you pronounce it. Asai. All right. I feel like I should watch a video of someone else pronouncing it, and then I'll get it. Bob, I have more evidence that your pikes are likely Atabapo ones if you want to see it. Um, I pretty much believe you, but I'm down to watch just about anything fish-related, or look at anything fish-related. Oh, I see I got a pair of fire mouths. They are feisty and beautiful. They are feisty. Flynn's Fish Forum is back. Brisket is superfood. I agree. I saw 55 gallons today and never realized how shallow it was front to back. Uh, what would be the same size tank height and length but deeper front to back? The 75 gallon tank. 75 gallon. Uh, what you got down there, Bob? An oxalotl? Nope. Chance is down here. He's like a sack of potatoes when he's sleeping. Like it's so hard to move him. Flynn Newton, I thought you shot recent video of the changes to the 55 profit tank. Nope. Nope, Sean, I haven't changed it at all. I've talked about changing it for a long time. Uh, I am getting some new guppies in. It's just, even the thought of working on that tank is so, ugh. It would be like a whole weekend project just because I'm someone that will like, if I take out like a huge batch of plants, I got to pick through every single piece of plant to make sure there's no fry no shrimplets. I also pull out snails. I don't know why. I just, uh, you know, if I could save the life of something, I prefer to do it. <sighs> I can't wait to go fi fishing. Meat is a superfood. Will guppies nip on long fin bristle nose? I don't believe so, but you might have the occasional a-hole that will. What is my favorite kind of food? Meat. Steaks. Steak, steak, steak. My bad, I was just curious and thought I saw a recent video. Uh, it's been in videos. I have been like putting little snippets of the tank in videos uh, just because I happened to do something to that tank in the video. Um, like the last video, I put in like all the water lettuce and stuff. And a video before that, I put water wisteria in it. So, I mean, I have been like showing it more, but I'm not really changing anything. I've just talked about changing it. But honestly, it's so much work, I'll probably never change it. Going to get my saltwater license. John Ward, I do have my dragon puffer, but honestly, I might sell it. Because honest, the most boring fish in the world. Um, I'll probably just give it away, actually. Two food groups, meat and salt. Um, I'm with you on the meat. I do love Himalayan pink crystal salt, though. <clears throat> oh, sneezing. I gotta go play Taxi Cab Dad. Thanks, Bob, and bye. Thanks, Doug. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you answered this earlier, but how's Hemi and the nameless Cresty, who I think you should name Taquito, Taquito, uh, both doing well. I mean, the snake still hasn't eaten, but it is making progress. It's getting closer. And the Crested Gecko is awesome. I only see it when I sneak in there at night because it's in a 40-gallon uh, tank, so it has lots of places to hide. But uh, I, usually, I usually see it out and about if I go in there and do like a midnight feeding for my plecos. Doug of the North says, later all thanks. Special giveaway. Special giveaway might happen on Monday. If we can hit 20k by Monday, um, I did get a a private sponsor to sponsor some giveaways. Um, not a company or anything, so I'm not selling out. But uh, we'll hopefully be able to give some stuff away if we can hit 20k by Monday, so that'll be fun. Uh, so yeah, that's about all the news I have for that. Uh, pronounced quinoa, whatever. I don't know what you're talking about, Barbara, but I believe you. Whatever you're talking about is pronounced quinoa. Uh, I'm back again. How are little and micro steen is, uh, forever gone. Um, not gone like dead, but I added like 12 more yellow labs to that tank. So I just don't know which one he is anymore. Uh, and little scene is doing great. I'm trying to get little scene on camera. Trying to clean up the algae and get rid of the water lettuce so I can actually film in the tank. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm trying. How's your zebra preco breeding going? Um, that got kind of put on the back burner with rearranging the fish room. And I'm probably going to redo that whole tank as well. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. Maybe I'll redo the zebra tank this weekend. I got a lot more pleco caves and hides and stuff to throw in there. So I need to redo the whole thing. Um... And kind of give it a real go at it. But maybe I'll, I'll at least rearrange it. I don't know. 
No, Microsteen. He's still alive. I still have him. I just don't know which one he is. Uh, Crace Aqua with the $2 super chat. Send this man a super chat. Crace Aqua, thank you very much. Tazawa was talking about... Oh. See, I would pronounce that Kinoi. I don't know if that's right, even though you just told me how to pronounce it. But that's how I read it, so that's how I say it. Microsteen was a hero of your fish room needed, but didn't deserve. You need a Mega Steen. Any monster fish in the work? Uh, well, Little Steen will be a Mega Steen, because they get like 25, 30 inches, so yeah. Uh, definitely. That's why when people were coming out with the name Little Steen, I was like, he's little now, but he's going to be pretty big uh, when he's an adult. So I don't know if the name's going to fit him for his whole life, but hey, that's what you guys wanted, so that's what I did. Because MK shouldn't be remade? Yeah, I'm so lost in this chat. Uh, if space were no issue, would you prefer 40 breeder or a 55? Sean, it would really come down to what fish I wanted. Um, like it was brought up earlier, I really hate how um, just kind of narrow the 55 is. It's only 12 inches front to back, which is... If you're not into aquascaping, that's good. But a 40 breeder is way easier for aquascaping. So, and again, it would depend. Uh, I would probably go with the four foot tank just because obviously I would own rainbows. So, but I wouldn't be happy about it. I think I saw Dwayne Kitchell in here. Who's this bad Bob guy? <laughs> hey, Dwayne, long time. Good to see you, my friend. Quinoa is not right. It's quinoa. Quinoa. I will try to remember that. Queen. Queen. <laughs> Uh, quinoa. Little Steen will be a littler, will still be litter. <sighs> it must be getting late. We're going to go eight more minutes because I can't even talk anymore. Little Steen will still be littler than a dogo. Doggo. Dogo. <sighs> 75s all the way. Yep. 75s and 125s are kind of my favorite size. Enzo, do you cook that or eat it raw? Uh, what does your feeding regimen look like for rainbows types of food? Uh, so I do the Tetra Color Flake, I do Omega One Flake, I do New Life Spectrum Flake, I do the Aquarium Co-op Freeze Dried, I do Frozen Bloodworms, and then I also do Rapashi. So those are all the foods that are in my fish room, uh, and it's only because I believe in variety. I, I like to give my fish variety. And I'm pretty happy with all the quality of those food. Melissa from Albany Aquatics with the $3.33 super chat. Thank you, Melissa. Great stream as always. I appreciate it. Uh, absolutely nothing. Okay, Turtle Girl. My 60 is super narrow and it's weird, but I like it a ton because it's my biggest tank. Yeah, that must be the PetSmart 60 gallon, Marineland, I think. Do it for the queen. Uh, I don't know. My favorite size is a 100 foot by 50 foot aquarium. Can anyone tell me how to sex the Living Stone Eye Hap? Um, I actually, isn't it like the males are more colorful? I'm just guessing because it's an African cichlid. I've never actually kept one. Candy says, let's get Bob to 20k subs by Monday. Share your favorite video or this stream. How do you make homemade dog food? Uh, the same way you make, uh, your own food, right? <laughs> uh, I do raw food, raw food. Uh, cooked, cooked. I'm back for the last time. Flint's Fish Forum says, hi, Zenzo. Oh, man. I need to start, like, I don't know. Never mind. I don't know, where I was, I don't know what I was going to say. Let's see if I missed anything. Thanks for the super chat, Melissa. Let's get, let's get the super chats out of the way right now. So, thanks to the following people. Brian with the $5 super chat. Glenn with the two-pound super chat. Sergeant Tank Pets with the $2 super chat. Michael with the $8 super chat. Maha Pike. Mile High Plecos with the $20 Super Chat, Grace Aqua, $2 Super Chat, and Melissa of Albany Aquatics. Thanks, everyone, for the Super Chats. Uh, yeah, really helps out a lot, so I appreciate it. Um, get that out of the way before I forget. Uh, what else am I looking at? Real-time subscribers. We're still down two for the stream. Those pineapple people are pretty stubborn, I guess. I lost, I lost my pineapple subscribers. Uh, what else do we got going on here? Uh oh, what did I do? Anyways, so much confusion that night. Anyone streaming after Bob? I don't know, Matt. Is anyone streaming after Bob? 
I can't find my favorite video. It was the one that Bob was going to ban me for being fake Nisi. Um, I should count how many live streams I've done. It's got to be up there. Uh, there's a lot of live streams that are uh, not public too. So I think there's like maybe six or seven live streams that are set to private. Uh, it's got to be quite a bit. I got to be close to like 200, I would think. I don't know. Pineapple, we're still sub. Thank you, Nisi. <laughs> uh what else that was a great one that's why i said to stop putting out content because you lost net because you lost net subs this stream um justice avengers who's that little large mouth commented on my video lg3 nation lg3 nation with the pineapple super chat with two dollars and one cents thank you bob i'm a pineapple lover and i'm still subbed uh, do you do more live streams now than videos? Nope. Nope. I did in uh, definitely in December. I feel like I put out one video in December and everything else was a live stream. But December was a crazy month. We're back to two videos and two live streams a week. So it's even Stevens. Bob, take a drink. Uh, no, Charles, that's you. Hey, Bob, where do you buy your 125s? Uh, well, prior to last Black Friday, I was buying them at PetSmart when you could get the 125 with a stand, the glass tops, and the lights for $300. But them cheap SOBs didn't do that sale this year, so now uh, I just buy them through my local fish store. Uh, and I only buy Aquion. That's the only brand that I'll buy is Aquion. Uh, no, nah, I got nice plants and stuff. I have a 125 gallon Aquion, nice tank. Yep, the one I have set up right now is an Aquion. The one I have in my garage is an Aquion. Um, why are you called Bad Bob? I don't know. There's some rumors out there, Sam, that I might have said some questionable things on live streams last weekend. I don't believe it. I think it's all rumors. Uh, but that's that's where the term came from. Frank is so awesome. My mystery snails share his name. Uh, how much do you pay for just a 125? Um, normally around 300 bucks. Even even see the Petco one I would get because it came with the stand, even though I've never used it, uh, and the glass tops and the lights, even though the lights are fluorescent and suck. So basically 300 dollars for the tank and the glass tops. Um, but otherwise I can get them for about 325 for just the tank alone. Uh, ha 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 rumors. Yeah, I don't know where these rumors come from. All my tanks are Aquions, which are all made by one company anyways. Um, so while that is true, the Aquions generally use thicker glass than like the Tetra. So when I look at my Aquion 40 breeders versus the Tetra 40 breeders, uh, it's a big difference in build quality. So I just, I don't know. I don't know how that works there, uh, Charles, because the Aquions are built way better. The uh, Sometimes those Tetra 40 breeders are like spaced out like an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch just hanging over. They're awful. Joel, glass boxes with the $2 kiwi. All those pineapples and a lion mixed in there. Thank you. Uh, didn't Rob start Bad Bob? I don't know. I don't remember. That whole weekend was kind of a blur of live stream and no sleep uh do i build any of my tanks nope nope i build the tops i mean that's about as close as i get what are wait what are you doing i am new and so confused I, so am i i have no idea what's going on i'm just sitting here talking to people that that uh want to stare at me for some reason all right guys and gals it is 6 29 we are going to call it um the last question uh the puffer behind me is the amazon puffer it is a community puffer fully freshwater puffer so there you go but uh so we're gonna call it remember to check back in monday 5 p.m hopefully we have hit 20,000 subscribers we are at 19,829 uh so i actually need quite a lot over the next four days so if you could share a video, get the word out there. Probably the only time I'll ask you is on these milestones. Uh, so, yeah, I would appreciate it. Otherwise, um, what else? I don't think we got anything else. 
So that will do it. Uh, my one last piece of advice is um, do more water changes. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. But uh, I hope everyone had fun. I did. Thanks, everyone, for the super chats. Thanks to all of my new patrons on Patreon. And I will see everyone hopefully Saturday night. Uh, I guess I should shout that out a little bit more. Uh, stay tuned on Twitter and Facebook to find out where we are streaming Saturday night. But I will definitely hopefully see everyone Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific.